Welcome to the 2021 Invention Convention Michigan Virtual Awards Ceremony. We're so glad that you're able to join us to honor the hard work all of our student inventors have put in this year. We'd like to begin with a few words from our own Chief Learning Officer here at Henry Ford, Lucy Howell. Hi there, everyone. My name is Lucy Howell, and it is my honor as the Chief Learning Officer of the Henry Ford to welcome you all to our Michigan Invention Convention Award Ceremony 2021. As you know, the invention education movement brings invention skill building to young learners. We at the Henry Ford fully support this movement through our Invention Convention Worldwide program and its network as it is a great example of the learning by doing philosophy on which our organization is built. This academic year, we have had students compete at seven regional hubs representing the North, Central, West and Southern parts of Michigan. We are so impressed by all of those who competed. Thank you to all involved, students, parents, teachers and hub leaders for all of your hard work. I can tell you that all of you young inventors and your inventions are just amazing. Congratulations for making it to the state finals. You are all winners in my book. In a few moments, we'll find out who the winners of the Michigan Invention Convention 2021 are. And it goes without saying that to those of you who win, you've earned a special congratulations on behalf of everyone here at the Henry Ford. Congratulations to you winners. I love this program and the team here at the Henry Ford loves this program. I am thrilled at all of your hard work during what has been a really difficult year, but I am so excited to see you back next year when we should be able to hold the event back on the floor of the Museum of American Innovation. Thank you all, and good luck. We'll begin with the honorable mentions in grades three through five. This year's honorable mentions in this category go to Eye Spoon by Srikriti Gundaji. Eye Spoon is a self-heating device with different heads, a spoon, a butter knife, and a scoop that heats up instantly at desired temperatures. This is a heating base just like this one, and this is an on and off button, which is the flip of the switch starts heating up instantly. Let's try it now. It's literally melting, as you can see. And SVC, the Smart Vacuum Cleaner, by Nitya Hamsini Kos. The SVC is a manual vacuum cleaner that uses a microcontroller and multiple sensors to prevent objects that are too big from getting into it. If an object is bigger than 2,000 microns, the sensors will send a signal to the microcontroller, which is inside the SVC. The microcontroller will turn off the electrical motor, which completely turns off the SVC. Next up, in third place in grades 3 through 5, The Trash Splasher by Annabelle Zaradnik. Annabelle's in the fourth grade at Parkview Elementary. Did you know that the garbage from your town in Michigan can end up in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? The biggest problem is blowing off of landfills. This is called blow away. So then I thought of... The trash splasher. It works by when the truck is dumping the garbage, a sprinkler system sprays the garbage and gives it more mass so it doesn't blow away. In second place, Tyler Parks and Mailbot. Tyler's in the fifth grade at Novi Meadows in Novi. The Mailbot is an app controlled meal sanitizing mailbox. The key feature is a built in UVC light to sanitize your mail after it is delivered. UVC light can disinfect 99.9% germs and surfaces in less than eight seconds. So first, they would deliver the mail. Then the sanitation process would start. After a minute and 30 seconds, this mail is clean and ready to be used. And in first place in grades three through five, the Clean Cube by Prasita Minagi. Proceed is in the third grade and is an independent inventor from Ann Arbor. When you walk into the sanitizing cubicle, you will be disinfected with isopropyl spray. The windows have been cut to only reach the shoulder length. 
that's the best because you don't have to worry about it getting in your eyes, nose, or mouth. And that's the average covered as seen. Next, we have a pair of honorable mentions in grades 6 through 8. First up, Kid Shield by Sayabira Makaraju, Rishikanmani Raja, Kavan Vinoth, and Himanshi Vishvanathan, all 6th graders at Novi Meadows. The human body releases a fight flight freeze response when it perceives threats. We plan to use this vigilant, accurate, and undercover as our agent to help free the victim from the clutches of the culprits. Introducing Kid Shield. It's a lightweight sensory device always in touch with the human body. When an abnormal activity is detected in any of our sensors, a caution call message is sent to both the parents and the authorities. Another honorable mention goes to Cats, invented by Avani Nandalar and Elias Sangari in the sixth grade at East Hills Middle School in Bloomfield Hills. In third place in grades 6 through 8, I Space by Roy Takakura. Roy is in the 6th grade at Novi Meadows. In COVID times, people are getting too engaged with their computers and getting too close to the computer screen. And this is a result from people getting too close to the computer screen. What this invention is supposed to do is when I get too close, the X will be displayed. And when I back up, the X will not disappear. In second place, Concussion Alert by Rohit Mahesh. Rohit's in 8th grade and is an independent inventor from Canton. And design a product that can detect two different types of head injuries. A regular concussion that goes unnoticed and a subconcussive head injury. My goal is to have the sensor inside the shoe, but for my prototype demo, I decided on having the sensor on the exterior of the shoe. Because this method calculates the stride length and stride time to the nearest millionth of a second, meter or second, if this was used by a concussed person, the algorithm I came up with would be able to figure out if they had a concussion. And in first place in grades 6 through 8, Green Energy by Shreyas Ikare. Shreyas is in 6th grade at Novi Meadows in Novi. Have you ever gone on a road trip and not been able to use your electronic device because it wasn't charged? When wind spins this turbine here, it causes this driver gear to spin, causing this to spin three times faster. When this magnet spins, it causes an EMF to be induced in both of these coils, uh, which then is transferred to the power outlet and measured by the multimeter. Let's see how it works now. This is our outside testing. We'll continue by presenting two honorable mentions in the 9th through 12th grade category. The first goes to Carl Beckstrom and Zachary Eisman, both seniors, at Northville High School, and their Concussion Prevention Helmet Attachment for Ice Hockey. For the acceleration drop test, we noticed there was a 14% decrease when it was dropped from 4 feet. Additionally, there was an 8.3% decrease in impulse when dropped from 2 feet. We'd also like to give an honorable mention to Armand Getson and Sophie Getson, both seniors at Huron High School, for their ID pen. So for our first design, it's a pen with a QR stamp that would be scanned at a purchase and used to verify the purchaser's identity on the spot. Our first prototype was made using a 3D printer, and it has the 3D printed stamp and the 3D printed body of the pen. Next, in third place in grades 9 through 12, Beat Runner by Rose Bosch. Evan Reibnauer and Peter Stinger. All three are seniors at Huron High School in Ann Arbor. Beatrunner app interfaces with an Arduino and a pressure pad to record steps per minute. From there, we pull Spotify songs or playlists with similar, similar BPMs, which then plays them through the app. The next iteration replaces the pressure pad with an accelerometer. In second place, Walking Shipping Container Home by Emma Kaipainen. Emma's in 11th grade at Huron High School in Ann Arbor. So my first iteration started with the idea of a shipping container house that could walk forwards, backwards, and turn. In my research, I turned to cylinders. I initially thought of using hydraulics, but my research showed that electric rod actuators would work better for my purpose because they have better accuracy and don't require maintenance. And in first place in grades 9 through 12, a COVID-19 effective face mask for athletes invented by John Canalopoulos, 
Jonathan Jackson, and Caden Saunders. All three are seniors at Northville High School in Northville. We used a spray mist bottle at the mask, and we decided to see from different distances to see if the water particles would get through. And test B was we used a candle to see how much smoke, if any, would pass through the mask from certain distances. Uh, the durability test, our mask passed with flying colors. And then for the blood oxygen level, it increased 1.5%, uh, which is good, but it was way lower than our goal of 7%. Congratulations to all of our grade level award winners. We also have several sponsor awards to give out. First up is our Best Display Board Award, presented by our partners at Kerr-Russell. Here to present the award is Attorney Max Sneed from Kerr-Russell. Hello, inventors. I'm Attorney Max Sneed from Kerr-Russell, and I lead our firm's intellectual property group. I was honored to act as a judge in this year's Invention Convention and was truly impressed by the innovation and the ingenuity shown by the participants. Kerr-Russell is very excited to sponsor the award for the Invention Convention's Best Display Board. We saw so many great displays and so many great inventions this year. You've all done a great job. Without further ado, the winner of the Michigan Invention Convention Best Display Board Award, sponsored by Kerr Russell, is Mailbot by Tyler Parks from Novi Meadows. Congratulations, Tyler. Also, the Mailbot would have the ability to be controlled by the Mailbot app. The app would notify you when your mail arrives with the sensor on the Mailbox door. The Mailbot would, would also be programmed to activate the sensor's mode after sensing the Mailbox door closing. Next, we have our Sustainability Award presented by BASF. This year, the award goes to the Walking Shipping Container Home by Emma Kaipainen, a junior at Huron High School. When designing this product, I kept in mind environmental friendliness. By incorporating shipping containers into the design, it prevents the need for newly manufactured parts for a large portion of the house. This helps reduce the carbon footprint of the house and helps alleviate the problem of shipping containers laying to waste or being sent back to China on freight ships empty, which requires the burning of fossil fuels, which is bad for the environment. Next, we have our Make the World Award, presented by Stanley Black & Decker. Here to present the award is Diane Cantello. My name is Diane Cantello from Stanley Black & Decker. We're so glad to be sponsoring the Make the World Award presented by Stanley Black & Decker at Invention Convention Michigan this year. The competition was fierce as there were some incredible inventions submitted and fantastic work by all of you. It was a tough choice, but I'm thrilled to announce that the winners of the Make the World Award presented by Stanley Black & Decker are Sasha Lee and Adam Van Der Molen who were in grade 11 at Horan High School for their invention of a search and rescue drone attachment system. Congratulations, Sasha and Adam. It's a modular system that can use tempor to temporarily attach a tool to a larger piece of equipment, such as an XT60 connector used for batteries. Our prototype was made out of a variety of different materials like polystyrene, steel rods, and basswood primarily. We even made a composite out of cardboard and polystyrene in order to drill holes in the arms without them disintegrating. Each year, we recognize the overall highest scoring project with our grand prize. This year's grand prize is presented by AAA, and here to announce the award is Jeff Laskowski. Hello, inventors. My name is Jeff Laskowski. I'm the Director of Innovation at AAA and the Auto Club Group. We are so glad to be sponsoring this year's award winner for the Invention Convention Grand Prize, presented by AAA and the Auto Club Group. We saw a lot of great entries this year, a lot of good inventions, a lot of great innovations. Everybody did an amazing job. It was very difficult to find a winner. And it's an honor to present this year's winner. Without further ado, this year's Invention Convention Grand Prize will go to the COVID-19 effective face mask for athletes, developed by John Canalopoulos, Jonathan Jackson, and Caden Saunders. Great job. These are all 12th graders from Northfield High School. From an innovator to an innovator. John, Jonathan, and Caden, great job. Our mask follows three major criteria, oxygen flow, durability, and its capability to block COVID-19, with other criteria including no harmful materials, um, the product must be moisture wicking, and it must cost less than $4 a mask to make. Our mask created a 1.5% increase in blood oxygen levels that was previously spread in our baseline test. However, the app did not reach our goal of a 7% increase. However, the mask was durable, safe, and it allows 
for the world to receive more oxygen than the masks that were currently on the market that we had tested. Congratulations to all of our winners. You'll receive an email about your prizes soon. Some of our students will be moving on to Invention Convention U.S. Nationals, which will also be held virtually this year. Those students who've won first, second, or third place in their grade bands will be moving on to represent the state of Michigan at Nationals. Of course, we'd like to extend a big thank you to all our sponsors this year. We'd also like to thank our seven regional hubs from across the state. These institutions and organizations worked with our students and teachers in their classrooms and virtually to prepare them for the competition. They also hosted our seven regional competitions to allow the students to qualify for today's state final. Thank you again to all of our participants this year for your hard work, your dedication, and your inventions. Keep inventing and keep solving problems in the world. Thank you to everyone attending today and watching our video online. Thanks for helping us to recognize the hard work and dedication our students put in this year, and thank you for helping us to congratulate our winners. We look forward to welcoming you at the Henry Ford soon.